Hello and welcome to this week's Force.comcast episode in which we're going to see a new lining component to add to our application um, and this component is going to allow us to create new tasks. So here is the uh, code for the lightning application we've been building, the account overview app. Um, and what you can see here is I have a second component now. Um, it's within a similar div uh, so that it's just displayed nicely and it is called create task. And what this component does is if we open up the view for it, um, it displays the second uh, block here, second uh, panel, and what we could do is we could enter some information here, so lightning demo, and we could just fill in our task data. Add the plus button, and then when I refresh my list here, All of my open tasks, it shows up that I have the new task here, okay, and it's assigned to me. So <coughs> all this uh, all this uh, component does is creates a brand new task for those details and assigns it to me. So there's a few pieces in here that we'll need to go through. Um, first is just the standard markup. So at the top here we have an attribute called task, um, and that has an S object type of task. And what we're going to do here is use that to help us. Um, have the input text and select fields here that you know provide some binding, make sure that we can get the value back properly, okay, and that it's bound across. We then have um, the same sort of layout as we had before, um, a card uh, class, which on our div, which is just um, a bootstrap class. Um, we have uh, the detail, and in that detail, we have a series of input fields. So we have an input text, um, which has an ID of the subject, so or ID is the attribute you use to set the ID for a particular field you're looking at. Um, it's called subject, and funnily enough, it's a subject. We have one for priority, uh, one for the type, and one for the description. At the bottom here, we also have a button, um, and in this button, what we're doing is we're having it save on success, um, and that's really the markup. It's very simple, just displays a few fields. Um, most of this is styling code, um, and if we go into our controller, you can see that we have a save method here. This is a JavaScript function, and um, I've got some debug statements left in there just for when I was testing. Um, and what it does is it finds the subject component or the component with the ID of subject or aura ID of subject and gets its value. Uh, same for description, priority, and type. And we're just logging those out to the console so we can see them. And then we also have action here where we're going to call c.savetask and this refers to our controller which is our apex controller that's associated to our component here so at the top here you can see we're associated to the task or a controller on that controller we're going to call save task and then we're going to set the parameters uh, for the subject description priority and type and then we're going to set a callback function so that when this returns we're going to clear out the subject, the description, the priority, and the type. Just set them all to blank or to a default value. And log out that we've been called back, and then we're going to enqueue the action. So it's a very simple method. Um, the controller method that it's calling is just an or enabled method. Um, it does return the full task. So if we did want to do some other processing, we could do. Um, and it just has a series of inputs, subject, description, priority, and type. Okay, And it just sets these, sets the owner ID to be current user and the activity date to be two days time, so that you've got a couple of days to get it done. Now what's interesting about this component is I've also used a custom renderer. So what does this renderer do? Um, so when you are rendering a lightning component, there's a series of different actions that occur in sequence. Um, I'm overriding and extending the after render action. So after the page is rendered, I'm going to do something. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is do the super after render, and what that does is that calls the default after render actions first and um, to ensure they all run correctly. I'm then going to find the add button class uh, component, sorry, and I'm going to remove the UI button class. If I don't do this, um, when you see that we have the nice little green marker here, uh, if we don't do this, it doesn't show up well. Um, and in fact, we'll have the default Salesforce styling for the Aura button on it. So because we want to use the uh, bootstrap styles and make it look pretty, we just have to remove that. And that's all there is to it. So we just add that to our standard app, as we have here. 
and then we can create lightning, uh, create a task from a lightning component. So in our next video, we're going to see how we can integrate uh, lightning with result um, reports. So we can uh, retrieve a report and display some report information. Uh, and then after that, we'll also look at having a custom visualization before trying to tie everything together using events. So that when we assign this task, we could have it related to the particular account we've chosen from our account uh, list.